very, very good imagination. Elephant and bird design on one piece of drinking utensil three thousand years ago, with beautiful all the patterns, designs, decorations. This Shanxi Museum. This is a very fine building. I think the designing idea inspired by a Chinese tripod, bronzeware. My hometown Shanxi is where the Chinese civilization starts, oldest province, and this is one of the best museum in China. It has a rich collection, covers all, covering almost everything, all artworks. And I always believe that to see the museum, that's the best way to learn and understand a city's characters or personalities. You know what? Last visit was refused to the museum, so I came back for seven days later. Because the China now had like a few COVID-19 cases, I came back to Shanghai, so I have to stay at home for 14 days. Then I can visit. Then I could visit some public places like this Shanxi Museum. Today I'm back. My second visit. I hope it will be okay. Very strict security check. I have to see. They have to see everyone's health code and a, like a trip code or or IDs. Now I'm finally I'm in the museum. It's the inside building, interior. Shanxi is the home to the oldest Chinese wooden architectures. So at the museum, there is a section of old architectures, Chinese architectures. These are the oldest wooden architectures standing today in China. All of them in my hometown, Shanxi Province. Shanxi has over 75 percent of old Chinese. Ancient architectures in one province. That's a huge number for a province. So if you want to see old, if you want to visit the old places of China, Shanxi definitely is the number one choice to be. But how to say? Our tourism in this province is not so developed. So. It's remain unknown to many many outsiders. It's getting better, but still, most international tourists have no idea where Shanxi is and what to see in Shanxi Province. Now I want to show this video to the world, give my hometown a boost. It's the most famous Hanning Temple. Hanning Temple, Xuan Kong Si. I made a video about this place. Shanxi also is home to the greatest pagodas, Chinese Buddhist pagodas. This is a wooden pagoda, almost a thousand years old. Next is the wall painting. Inside of this wooden architecture, is always has a beautiful fresco. All wall paintings. Look at this. Most of the Buddhist or Taoist theme. So these are replicas, not original. This one made in Song Dynasty inside a Buddhist temple. This is Buddha sitting in the middle teaching. 
and all the Bodhisattvas and monks are、uh, listening to his lecture attentively.、Oh, beautiful. And this is the most well-known Taoist wall painting, Chao Yuan Tu. It's all the deities paying their respect, salute to the supreme god, god in Taoism. And these two are Bodhisattvas. Looks a little different. These two have a beard, right? Because this was done by a Manchuri minority. This is another Taoist wall painting. Oh, beautiful! So many big details, and colorful. Next section is painted sculptures. Shanxi also has the biggest collection and the most important collection of Chinese painted sculptures. No matter in terms of quantity and quality, this is Tang Dynasty's painted sculpture. This kind of technique called liu li is glazed pottery made in low temperature, lower temperature. In Song and Yuan Dynasty, Ming Dynasty, this liu li became a very important decorative parts for Chinese wooden architectures. For example, this one. Chiwen. It's made of liu li. This is on the ridge of the wooden building in China. This sacred animal prevent the building from the fire accident. Look how beautiful it is. Details. Shanxi or Jin merchants in Ming and Qing dynasty. This is really, really important in China. First, all these Chinese merchant sold Chinese specialties like silk or tea to today's Mongolia or Russians or other countries. And later, they find out it's hard to like carrying all those gold or silver ingots on their trips. It's not safe and not convenient. So they started this kind of a draft banks and helping business people transfer their money from point A to B. So that became the main business.、Uh, draft banks, especially in Pingyao, known as the Wall Street of China in Qing Dynasty, most of these merchants became super rich. After they became rich, they built their like courtyard horses, houses for their family. Courtyard houses of the Jin merchant. Smart and honest businessman. 
So all their business spread out really, really. You can see all big cities in China and to Mongolia, to Japan, to Korea, and to Southeast Asia, even to India. All over the place. During Chinese spring and autumn period, Shanxi was a state of Jing, one of the most powerful state of the country. So this section, today Shanxi still uses Jing as the short name. And this is the Jing spring autumn period was the peak golden age for Chinese bronzeware. So this section is Chinese bronzeware. It's like pig shaped zun. Zun is used as a uh, wine utensils. This one is the most important culture relic in the museum. Bird shaped zun. Again, zun is a drinking utensil. You can see they have a. It has a lid and it has a tail, beautifully designed like an elephant nose trunk. What a nice building. I think it's a Chinese tripod or something, Chinese bronzeware. Sorry, I'm getting too close.